Hello there, I'm back with another video, complete situation report of from the Amhara region of Ethiopia. What happened in the last 12 hours? Details for you from Gojam, Gondar, Volo, attacks on police stations, ambush attacks by Afano fighters, uh, roads blocked, several updates and lastly we'll have a look at uh, a new story about three important meetings. Uh, one has been held, two going to be held in the Amhara region in capital Bahirdar. Amhara regional president uh, is presiding over these meetings. What is the agenda? What does the regional president want from a meeting participants? Details for you in this video. Let's start from the battlefield situation in the region. I have to use the word battlefield now. If you have been watching me regularly, I never use the word battlefield while covering the unrest in the Amhara region. It was only yesterday that for the first time I used this word battlefield. We use this term in Tigray a lot. When the two year long war in Tigray erupted, that was war. What is happening in Amhara is not a war, but it can be called a battle uh, between Ethiopian National Defense Force and armed militias. So that is why we're using the term battlefield now. We have complete battlefield report for you from the Amhara region. The fighting which was between Fano fighters and uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force members in forests, in mountains, in the outskirts of uh, uh, town cities has now approached main towns, big cities now. Today, firstly, Debre Marcos. What happened in Debre Marcos today where Fano fighters and locals entered city police station. It means there is no police, by the way. If uh, people can storm a police station, it means police is not able to protect itself. How can police protect the people, the region, if it is not in a position to protect itself? Police is vulnerable. It is not in a position to protect itself. Fano fighters, locals, they entered the police station and reportedly they captured weapons from the police stations too. That police station. They seized several police force weapons from Debre Morcos police station today. Hundreds of them stormed the police station. Some other government buildings were stormed too by Fano fighters in Debre Marcos. Where is Debre Marcos? In Gojam. It is one of the main cities in Gojam. If in cities Fano fighters can attack police stations, imagine what would be happening in the outskirts, in towns, villages, where there is no large scale deployment of police, militia, and Ethiopian National Defense Force. Today's first and for me the most important development is that now in big cities, towns, in broad daylight, Fano fighters, people stormed the police station. And Debre Marcos is under Fano, you can say. People there uh, protesting, roads blocked, entry exit roads blocked, roads inside the city blocked, people patrolling the streets, Fano fighters, who is in control? Yes, Fano might withdraw, like it has been withdrawing, but uh, Fano managed to show that it is in command in a major city in Gojam today. Where was ENDF? Uh, ENDF was nowhere to be seen in Debre Marcos today, reportedly. Police militia could not resist people's protests. Firstly, secondly, uh, Lali Balavios. If you remember, in a video today, I said that uh, Ethiopian government could suspend mobile internet in Ethiopia, in Amhara. 
that was my prediction based on analysis of on the ground situation i did not have any uh, information from government side but since social media internet are being very effectively being used by foreign fighters that is why it was very likely that uh, there could be social media restrictions or internet outage in amhara region that is what happened in lali bala today reportedly in some parts of lali bala mobile internet is not available these minutes internet suspended in lali bala we saw yesterday that uh, fano fighters took control of lali bala airport bbc reported today bbc amharic but yesterday we got confirmation and we shared with you that fano fighters were there they had uh, blocked the runway to by putting stone etc on the runway uh, is endf back at the airport difficult to say Uh, we'll confirm once and then we'll share with you uh what we have learned from the ground is that while internet restricted it means that uh endf uh, could uh, launch a big operation in lali bala to take back lali bala airport uh one flight uh, landed at the airport yesterday but in the evening second flight could not land because uh, at around afternoon around afternoon yesterday the airport came under a fano control so these minutes mobile network mobile internet suspended in lali bala again i'm saying it was based on understanding of the situation that i predicted that uh, internet could be suspended it could be cut off uh, i think in more uh, uh, amhara town cities we could see internet Uh, outage thirdly a vehicle of ethiopian national defense force a convoy rather was ambushed by fano fighters the convoy was on its way from gondar to addis zaman i think addis zaman is in south gondar from gondar city towards addis zaman this uh, military some military vehicles were on their way for no fighters ambushed the convoy uh vehicle was captured by fano fighters and four or five endf officials were taken prisoner by fano fighters somewhere between addis zaman and gondar debrita bor there is just fano and local presence in debrita bor these minutes all day we heard about fighting in the outskirts of debrita bor last night too but these minutes there is no ethiopian national defense force in debrita bor in most parts on a fight is there people there i have a clip for you from debrita bor at the end of this video i'll share this clip with you debrita bor in south gondar in uh, hamusat again roads blocked fano fighters of seen patrolling the streets in east goja uh, apart from uh, w marcos fano fighters have taken two major towns in baso liban warada they took control of cork a few days ago they were there in cork a few days i did a video on that and today they were seen in jubbe too so both jubbe and cork in baso liban in east amhara east uh, gujam zone there is fano when we say these towns are under fano it means that fano is there fano fighters are there yes they might withdraw so at this point of time fano fighters are freely moving around these big cities uh debre marcos bore the libala debre tabor adizaman cork jubbe and several others too this is on the ground situation which we are sharing with you 
Ethiopia National Defense Force trying to control the situation, but uh, situation slipping out of government's control, ENDF's control. What is the government doing? Amhara regional government. Regional president Yilkal Kifale is working on building a narrative by holding meetings, talking to people. Fano has built a narrative that Fano is fighting for the sake of the Amhara people. That is why people are supporting. And that the ENDF is not Ethiopian military, it's an Urumma army. So this narrative is selling. It's not that I agree with this narrative, but narrative is selling. Built by Fano fighters. Now Amhara, regional president, trying to build a counter narrative. He has offered dialogue to Fano fighters twice so far. No positive response from Fano fighters. Three important meetings. First one was held yesterday. First meeting yesterday was between uh, Amhara regional president and religious leaders. Local uh, zonal level leaders were there and their Amhara regional president said that he was all for peace, that uh, uh, religious leaders, also local leaders especially should play a role in the resolution of the conflict. And Fano fighters are close to orthodox uh, clergy. That is why regional president invited orthodox leaders, other leaders for a meeting yesterday. Two more meetings uh, this week reportedly. Second one with youths. Youths are the potential recruits of Fano. Fano recruiting, we know in Digger Demote we saw videos, pictures uh, in other parts of Amhara too. Fano openly, publicly recruiting youths. Youths unemployed supporting Fano or fighters. So second meeting going to be with Amhara youth. Message that youth should not join Fano fighters. Third meeting is going to be with Amhara businessmen. It's a very crucial meeting. Fano is threat. By the way, in the past, Fano fighters, Fano factions had backing of some Amhara wealthy businessmen. When Tegaraya fighters entered Amhara region in July 2021, after that we saw that uh, big Amhara investors like Blinikind and others, uh, they supported uh, Fano fighters. They were seen clad in special forces uniform, carrying guns vowing to save Amhara region. So they backed, funded Fano fighters. Amhara government wants to ensure that Amhara businessmen, investors don't support Fano fighters financially. And they, they want to warn and threaten uh, Amhara businessmen that uh, if anyone is found supporting Fano fighters, action would be taken. And these businessmen are in a difficult position. I said a few things uh, on this point a few hours ago in a video. These businessmen, if they don't uh, comply with Fano's instructions, they could be attacked by Fano fighters. If they give money to Fano fighters, if they uh, support Fano fighters financially, government will take action against them. So they're in a difficult position. But uh, regional government warns Amhara businessmen that the businessmen must not give logistical support to Fano fighters. These three meetings are being held to build a narrative by the Amhara regional president that he is trying to engage all the parties in the region. He is, he is offering olive branch to Amhara Fano fighters. But Fano fighters are not uh, flexible. They are not showing any flexibility to start dialogue. What will happen after these three meetings? Will there be start of a major operation in, involving all ENDF assets, air assets, etc. to crush Fano fighters? That is very much expected. But so far we are seeing that uh, ENDF and Amhara government are taking different positions. Amhara government has offered dialogue to Fano twice. 
ENDF says it won't tolerate any extremist terrorists in Ethiopia. It will continue military operations in the Amhara and Rome regions of Ethiopia. So, whose narrative will prevail or whose decision will prevail? Will ENDF prevail or, or will Amhara government uh, prevail? That we'll see in coming days. I think that uh, since Fano is not uh, showing any uh, positive response to offer dialogue, ENDF's decision will prevail and we could see uh, intensified major military operation uh, in the Maya region against Fano. Military operation already underway, but in coming days of we you could see intensity in this operation. Thank you.